Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Now, if I go to course generation and I look in here, I got field 2 and I got field 3. I don't have the field 1 option, so calculate current field's edge path. That's now telling me that I've got that. And then I can set that to field edge path number 1. Add field 1's edge path to list. So I've now done that. I, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Probably not. There's probably other ways around it. So I go to here and then I go to field 1 user, which is the field that I'm on. And we've got three headland passes clockwise. We've got that one set up. We're going to skip rows again. I'm going to... Oh no, skip row 1. I'm just going to skip one row. And... Oh, the headland corners... I got smooth or I've got turn. Round turn radius, smooth or... T I'm going to go with... No, I'm not. I'm going to stick with smooth with this one. Now, multiple tools. Should I do that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I thought that was something to do with um, when you've got extra vehicles doing it. But I, I don't know. I think that is extra vehicles. So I think that's all I need to do there, is I think that one's supposed to stay on one. Generate field course. There, I've now got a field course generated. It does seem to actually work. So I go back, and then I will save that one, and I will go field one uh, mowing, like that. And then I will drive course. Right. You will start right there. You go out round the edge of this one. And yes, I will admit that it going round the corners here, course play is better than the AI vehicle extension because of the AI vehicle's habit of trying to cut corners. So yes, this is a bit better. I still have to like it. But that one's coming along quite nicely through there. I got a lot of wiggles on the edge of this field edge here, which I'm thinking we might want to try and do a little something about. Purely because of the way... Like this, we're going to be keeping this field. If I'm moving everything out over that side instead of onto this field, this field's going to be kept and we're going to be using it for doing more stuff. So we're going to need to just change things around a little bit for this field. So we may have to do a bit more work on it this winter. But that's working. That's doing what we want it to do. So I'll leave that one to do what we want it to do. And I want to go back to this one now. I'll take this one back up to the field so that we can unload the combine. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to get sour skittles. I want to get the, um, the forage wagon hooked up onto it. And then I want to be able to go from the field to the hay dryer and tip stuff out. Before I'm ready to do that though, we are going to have to do a bit of landscaping around the hay dryer so that we've got that one all sorted out. But I, that's not going to take us very long. That's a, a fairly quick and easy job. So I'll bring this one up here. And tempting though it is to go flying across the field right there, I'm not going to do that. Compre compression, compaction, remember, ladies and gentlemen. Compaction is the evil of farming these days. So we do not want any compaction. That's why we've got wide tyres on everything we use. We've got wide tyres. I mean, yeah, i got wide tyres on the truck there for when I do have to drive on the field. But I still want to avoid it because that's going to compact things more than what this is. I bring you back onto there like that and I hook you on. And then I can lift you up like that. And then we go whizzing over here. And the combine will actually start moving. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to swing around and come up from this direction. And then once we get to the end of the row, the combine will just stop. So I need to go in here. Like that. There we go. That's now away. There we go. You keep pouring that out. That's doing a grand and wonderful job. And as soon as we get to the end of the row, the combine will stop. And it will stay there until it's unloaded everything, which means that we're not going to have to worry about the combine filling up going the wrong direction. Although it probably will 
on its next pass because of where it stopped here. So either we've got to keep a close eye on the combine or we'll just have to um, take over it and uh, reverse it out around the crop. Because I'm not going to drive on the crop. Despite the fact that I don't have crop destruction, so I could go and do it, I am going to avoid driving on the crop because... And this is something that people have pointed out in the hardcore series as well. You know, I try to do things realistically. I mean, yeah, I know that I'm cutting corners of realism on this one where I'm using Stevie mods. I'm using um, larger capacity machines. But I don't think that's game-breaking stuff. I absolutely don't think that's game-breaking stuff at all. Now, I talked very recently about a mod, uh, not a mod, about a combine called a tribine. That combine over there, that Lexian combine, is the largest combine in the world at the moment. But it's not the actual largest combine in the world. It's the largest combine of its kind. And it's the most powerful combine in the world. Right, that's a little bit weird that it does it like that. That's because of the smooth corners. Um, it's the largest combine in the world of its kind. And it's the most powerful combine in the world. But it's not just simply the largest combine in the world. There is a combine called a tribine. Now, this thing is an articulated combine. That's what happens when we have the corners. If I do smooth corners. If I don't have smooth corners, it will go out to the corners and it will pick up and it will turn. But it may still end up leaving some bits of grass behind. I'm not quite sure. Like here. Okay, that's leaving a ridiculous amount of grass behind. Is it going to go and pick that up when it does the, the field runs or not? I'm kind of hoping that it does, because otherwise that's appalling. That really is. I, now maybe I shouldn't be doing the smooth field edges. That might be where I've gone wrong with it. I'll try, on the next field, I'll try having it turn on the corners. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I don't want you anymore. I don't want you. It's 40% there. Actually, I will. I will go and empty this combine out a minute. Um, although saying that, that means that we're going to be ready to go and tip this one. I, I, I want to focus on getting the next bit going. See if I can get that actually happening. Let me come down here a minute and I'll take out a bit of this. You can't tip these trailers on this one at, like they are. That just doesn't work as far as I know. So I'll bring you around like this. Combine will um, open out in just a minute once the trailer gets close enough the length of the spout on this combine does mean that we're sort of right on the edge of the trigger point for the spout opening out and actually going to fill us up so it's, it's quite interesting that the fact that um if we run on the very edge of the spout the combine thinks there's no trailer there and it'll put it away which is a little bit weird but that's fine we, we, we can cope with that um no, I want to get the, the next bit going so that we can start gathering up the hay. But before I can do that, i got to go and do a little tiny bit of landscaping just to make sure that everything is in place on there. And you, actually, you can just stop right there. I'm not going to worry about that any further. And I'm going to go into there and go to there. And I'm going to start landscaping. So this is the bit that I want to do next. I'll ignore the tractor and the mower over there. So I'm going to come down to here. Now you can see on this edge, it's raised this edge slightly and it's dropped that edge slightly over there. So I want to blend this down a bit. Like that. I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger now. And I'm going to control E. Makes the brush strength a bit more powerful. I want a stronger brush strength on this. It doesn't like to go up to the edge of that one that's as close to the edge as we can get it and then i'm gonna bring that over like that now in theory i shouldn't need to put any wood chips into this one it should all be wood chip free but what i am gonna need to do is just level that bit off over there which means that i've already gotten rid of a little bit of the field here and then I'm going to want to blend back some of this. And yeah, we're getting rid of those shrubs. Because this is all going to end up being concreted over now. Not every single little bit of it, but there is a, a fair bit of it that's going to be changed. 
So I can blend you in around here like this. There. Right. That's now blended, so I should be able to come around the front of that without any problems. You are doing just fine. I'll leave you going there for a minute, and I want to go to this one. This is the tractor that we want, and we need to go and get our other beastie on. Now, this is something that I have been forgetting to do on here that Petro has asked me to do over and over again, and I haven't. So we want to bring up to this one, and then we want to press the horn. Okay? You ready for this? <laughs> I did this on the live stream, and I was quite surprised. Oh... What a fantastic horn that is. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, that was. Absolutely beautiful. It's like poetry in motion, that is. Absolutely wonderful. Right. So bring you in around here, our super powerful tractor. And we want that crone right there. So I can bring you up to there. Now... The first bit should be easy enough, but the bit that I don't know about is... Now, I remember how to do it for uh, the combine with, with the unloading, I think, from FS17. It's been a long time since I've done it. So I go to here, like this, and we'll bring up course play. Okay? So now what I need is field work, combi, empty combine, and offload... Grain transport, leveling and compacting, no course loaded. I don't know what these are. I don't want to empty a combine and offload. See, this is a bit that I'm not sure about, is how do I get the next piece of a course? I've got, this is just like a transport course, isn't it? I think. So I think what I want to do is I want to bring this into kind of like the middle of the field over here like this. Then I want to start course recording and I want to drive now out onto here and I'm going to drive through the yard like this. I'm going to bring it over this way. i go around there, and I'm not going to be going ridiculously fast. So i wiggle it in and out of the yard. We'll see how good this is. Whether or not this is actually going to work. I mean, I probably should cut across the field that um, Ducky's tractor is working in over there. But I'm not going to. So then I bring it over here. This is the unload point right here. So I bring that one up to there. I don't think I've got to do a pause, but... I stop there. Oh, wait a minute. Set unload point. I don't think I need to do that. I didn't need to with the combine one. So I'm going to assume that I don't need to do that with this one either. Then I'm going to bring it back round this way. Now, I know that I don't have a track here. And we should have a track. A track would be quite cool. And I'm going to bring it around this side. So it's going to be a completely different route going backwards. Go on to here. Now bring that round. And over here... And then I've got the start of the course it's over on this field. So then I'll bring that one. I've only got to bring it into the field. That's all i got to do is I bring it into the field. Stop the recording. Right. So I've done that bit. So now if I save that course a second and field to hay, save. Now, the big question is, how do I join that course with the other course? I want to go to field work over here. 
Save current course. Let's clear, let's clear that one because I've got courses now that I can load up. No. Right, I've got field two mowing. Load course, merge into loaded course. So I want field two mowing. And then field two hay. Oh, wait a minute. Have that one. Append course at the end. Field two hay. What's that going to do? Course generation. I've got that completely wrong, haven't I? Four, I've got four combined courses right now. Okay, clear. That's all wrong. Let's try this. Let's let, I'm just try this once more. I, I know that I've got this completely wrong. So load course, merge into loaded course. So just low, uh, load it. So I want mowing and then I want that one. Course generation. Right, I've got two courses here together. One after the other. Start course at stop. So I've got two courses on here. What's it going to do? I'm just going to... Right, it's... Running that one. It's actually started working. It's going... Oh, I see. He is going over to the edge of the field. He's, he's running it at the same time as working toward... Why is... Oh. It's because I said start it at the next point. Ah. It's doing that and it's going to swing round. I started it at the wrong point, didn't I? So I know that I've started that one at the wrong point. I can ignore that bit. That's um, just where I happen to start the course. And it's going to come through. We kind of need to... I'm, I'm happy that that one's going to carry on and do what it's doing. But whether or not it's going to go back and then do the outside rounds of the field... So that it will get all of it. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. It does seem to be turning. So that it will go round and it will do every other run on the straight on here. Yeah, look. It's it's coming over there. It's doing that. So now what's it doing? It's coming out. Oh. Somebody said that it will actually do that. It will go along and it will straighten up and then it will reverse and it will get itself into position. So it's now reversing back down to the beginning of that run. So every other run does seem to be about right for it and away it goes. It's going to do that line. Okay, while it's doing that... Let me go back over to you... I'll take you off of your hired help a minute, and I'm just going to swing you around like this. Leave you there. Turn off that beacon. And I go to you. And we'll bring you up, and we'll do something with you. I know that I've got the Zerion over there. That has reached the end of that field. I'm not going to worry about setting that one going on the next field just yet, because I want to see what the other tractor is going to do so i'm still watching still keeping an eye on that one that one's going back up across the field it's reached the end of that bit what else is it going to do it's now turning round you can see him down there doing his thing you back over here and fill this trailer all the way up to the brim like that let that one go there. Right, you. If I bring that up and then I just go start, uh, stop driver. And then get rid of the course play bit. I'll bring that back. Mow that little bit there. And yeah, I've still got the corners on this. This is something that does bug me. So with our next field on this one, we'll try something different. But I'm not going to worry about that one for a minute. That one can stop there. 
You, I'm not wanting to watch. I'm wanting to go over to this one and just see how he's doing. So he's got two more runs. All right. I've got enough time, I think, to do this one. Take this one over to the edge of the field so that I can swap it over and I can get that truck on it. And we're ready to go and tip. Just while I wait for that tractor to finish its next run. At least I can bring this one over to here so that he's ready to roll. You to that point right there. Lower you down and then unhitch that one there. Now that's probably... Actually, that'll be fine. I'll bring you over there like that. Move you out of the way. The combine is just going to sit where it is. Because I need to go... No, you're still all right. Let's go back to that one and just get that one hooked on a second. It's whether or not that tractor is going to go around and complete the beginning of the course. Because I said start the course from, like, the middle point. So I may have got this right. I may not have done. Absolutely no idea at the moment. Let's try backing that one up and then... Close you over. No, this way. Okay, now you've got to the end of that bit. Where are you going to go now? Has reached trigger end point. Ah. Right, that's... So I need to go... Let me go drive now. What's it going to do? Oh, he's, he's doing the tip bit now. He's doing that one there. So, I don't know if... how I, I'm not sure how I would go about getting them joined together so that they join automatically. And also, the way I had that first one, that didn't seem to work 100%. But um, it did go over the field. I mean, I, I, what I should have done is rather... I When I went over the course, I should have had it start at the beginning rather than just where it was. And I think that would have worked all right. So we'll bring you on round here. And, well, I'm not bringing it anywhere. The course player is bringing it on round here. It is quite accurate. No, it's not because I didn't do that. So course player has gone slightly off edge on there. And it brings it up to there. And it does stop and tip automatically. It's fantastic that it does do it automatically. And then it will bring it back up here and it will drive back round to the field again. So that bit is working as it should. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to go through and go back over to the field again. But then what's it going to do? That's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, the straw in the field up there, I'm not going to store that loose. I'm going to bale that up. So we're going to want another shed for putting bales in, I should think. Unless I actually start um, using a telehandler to manually shift bales around. Which could be a bit of a nuisance. So I got two combined courses on here, it says. It's going to bring this one up to here. Stop at last point or at next trigger. Return to first point. Now it's got to there. What's it going to do now? Is it going to do what it did last time? No, he's now finished. So I will stop driver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one over to here. So that hopefully it will do the outside rounds. And then I've got that other course on there. It's already loaded. So I bring that over to there and start course at next closest waypoint. Nearest first waypoint. That's what I want to do there, is I should have clicked that to first waypoint. Um, and then return to first point. I don't need to have that one. So I don't know how to have it automatically switch from this one to the next one, whether I've got to blend anything. To, uh, see, I don't know that bit. Create new folder. Courses. Empty combine and offload. Grain transport. Drive from start to finish. Transfer. Or field work. See, I don't know which one I'm supposed to be using on these. It's not the compacting and leveling, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, drive course. And yes, I know that several of you will provide lots of helpful comments in the comment section. And I will read those comments. But just keep in mind that it may take a... Um, 
a week or two in order for all of those comments to actually filter down through to me. Now, the only downside to this is, as you can see, it is leaving a little bit of a stripe of material behind. And generally, it seems to be gathering it all up. It's only when it goes around the sharper corners that it does seem to be leaving this little bit of a stripe of material behind. I think if we're going to be using course play to do this, there isn't a lot that we can do about that. I think that's just kind of something that we're going to have to accept and leave it. But this is also why I'm thinking that we will try this other setting and see how well that works. All right, you seem to be doing fine. I'm going to I'm going to leave that one go for a minute and we're just going to let that one carry on doing what it's doing. You right here, we're going to go and empty you out a minute. And then once this one's emptied, I will bring it back up. We will unload what's left in that combine, and then we will go again. And then once that's done, I will get the mower over there, and we'll bring it over this side, and we'll put it to work on the big field. Actually, I might do the small field over there near where the hay dryer is, because then that one's, like, out of the way, and I don't need to worry about it anymore. And we can start clearing some more room. I bring you on here. We're going to have way over 200,000 litres. Uh, but I don't want to be selling it at the moment. I've got 909 right there, Grain Elevator East. 924, Port Southeast. That seems reasonable, but I think we can get a better price than that. Because if I go Control, not Control S. No Control S, it's Alt S on here. And if I look here, Wheat and Barley, middle of winter, you get a better price. Oh, that's spring there. Uh, but you do. Middle of winter is either first one, two, three, four of winter. Those are your best prices. Those are almost always your best prices. So those are the ones that we want to wait for. We want to wait until the prices come up and we can sell them then. So we're going to want to try and get another piece of storage in here somewhere. But I'm not quite sure I'm going to squeeze it in. I'm running out of room here. Um, I can't really do anything about it until I've gotten rid of those cows. And the cows are, well, yeah, they're, they're going to cost me a huge amount of money to be able to move. So I've, I've got an issue or two there to deal with, but we'll worry about that in a bit. I'll leave that one doing what it's doing. I'm sure it will cope. It'll tell me if it runs out of course or if it gets stuck or anything like that. So we don't need to worry too much about it. I'm going to drop that trailer right there like that. Bring the lorry over here. And stop. And then we can go to you. And back this one back round and hook on that trailer. I'm going to back this one right round up here. So I'm going to go all the way up there like that. And then back it round quite sharp like that. Which I don't have enough room to do. So I'm going to have to shunt around a little bit. And we can get this one hooked in. So I'll bring you back there. Right, that one's now looking like it's going and doing land work that doesn't exist. Unless it's decided that it has now done the bit that it should already have done, and... Well, maybe it is. What was it doing now? It looks like it's got to the end of the course. Yeah, there's a load of grass left all over the field, and there shouldn't be, but I don't think there's a lot that we can do about that lift you up in the air no it's actually running the course it's still running through that course unfortunately so it does i don't think there's anything we can do about that well that's about all we've got time for in today's episode so we're going to go and take a little bit of a break we need to chill out on the beach relax and build up some strength so while we're doing that if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.